Hi, and welcome to this section of the Pre-Algebra Tutor. And in this section, we're going to study the topic of what we call factors and multiples. Now, let me tell you right now, there are a lot of topics in Pre-Algebra that sort of seem disconnected from one another, you know? First, we learn how to add subtract integers, then we learn how to work with exponents in order of operations, and they might seem like disconnected topics, just like this one on factors and multiples might seem like to be a disconnected topic. But what you're going to find is that they're like a string of beads on a string, and you must learn one before you learn the next one, and before you know it, you'll have a bag of skills so that when you get down the road a little bit to you know, expressions and equations and some of these things that we're going to be doing a little bit later, all of these topics are going to be necessary. So you may not quite see the point of understanding these little individual topics that we have now, but once we get to some of the topics later on, you'll understand why it's so important. In this particular case, factors and multiples, <coughs> factoring is a huge part of algebra and pre-algebra, and you'll see why when we start dealing with expressions. And multiples are very important also, especially when we start talking about fractions and simplifying fractions in, in pre-algebra. So with that, let's talk about factors and multiples. The good news is these two topics are very, very simple. Um, they just have funny names that you might, you know, not know at first, but we're going to break through that right now. Uh, a factor is the following. Let's go ahead and write it down word by word, and then we're going to use a lot of examples to show you that it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, so what we're going to say is we're going to say the factors, this is a um, sort of a definition that you'll need to remember, so I'm going to underline it, the factors of a number And I'm, I'm writing it all in terms of numbers here because you have some experience with numbers, you understand numbers, but everything we're writing is going to apply to algebraic expressions. In other words, things that have letters in them, A and B and X and Y and things like that. These are all going to apply. The factors of a number or, you know, an algebraic expression later on are, when we're talking about numbers, are the whole numbers... that we can that we can multiply together to get that number all right now you might look at this and and say well that sure does look like a complicated definition it looks like a lot of words here but really it's a very very simple idea Basically, what we have for a factor, uh, when you're talking about the factors of something, we'll take a quick example. The number 10, you've dealt with all your life. You have 10 fingers, you have 10 toes, right? But we know that for the number 10, we can say that 1 times 10 is equal to 10. That's a true statement. We know that that's true. And we can also say that 2 times 5 is equal to to 10. So these are all whole numbers that can be multiplied together, 1 times 10, 2 times 5, and they can, uh, they can be multiplied together to give you 10. So what we've learned from this is the factors, which is the word we're trying to learn here, of the number 10 are 1, 2, 5, and 10. That's it. So if on a test, you were asked, what are the factors of the number 10? Or what are the factors of the number 12? Or whatever it is you're talking about. Then really what you're trying to do is find out what numbers exist, whole numbers, no decimal points anywhere, whole numbers, so that you can end up 